Okay, so um, what we're going to talk about is not quite what we said in the in the in the abstract, but we're just going to say a little bit about about um, about what we've found trying to about skate parks in west in rural West Wales in Pembrokeshire, and how Rowan, as a, a young skateboarder, has faced difficulties trying to actually do skateboarding in a, in, a, in, a, in a probably in a rural environment and because most of what you'll probably be aware of is that most skateboarding is something that's very much uh, an urban a city thing and it's one reason that Rowan very much likes coming to cities but within the countryside, within the rural area it's quite difficult and what we're going to talk about just very briefly is two places within, within Pembrokeshire uh, one which has a skate park and one which doesn't yet have a skate park and um, it relate, they both relate a little bit to I suppose heritage and archaeology so where is this Rowan? you can tell them about uh, this Solver Skate Park and where is Solver? Uh, Solver Pembrokeshire yeah. <laughs> it's about two miles from where we live and it's in Pembrokeshire yeah. Wales. and just explain a bit about the grass in there um, and what, what happened, why, what, um, what you're doing. We were fixing the ledge because it was like getting overgrown with grass and we couldn't really use it. And yeah, because I think this, this, this skate park is about 10 years old, isn't it? Mm, yeah, yeah. It's, it's about 10 years old and uh, it was built after a lot of opposition, it took a long time to get built. And um, and then I think people were, who were using it were mostly using rollerblades, weren't they? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then, but now, now really, Rowan is the only person that uses this skate park. It's almost forgotten. Would you say that? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much the only person. And so what we found is along the edges of the skate park, there's all this grass just building up. The, the um, from these banks, is the, the soil slumping down, and it's covering a lot of the lot of the edges. So this you next sort of see it like that. Yeah, no, we can see it on the next one better. Yeah, like so. That. This is one which Rowan actually, actually excavated. So this is <laughs> what do you call these things? Benches, or what do you call them? Ledges. No, yeah. A ledge which is covered in soil, just like that, and Rowan excavated it, and oh, then we both. yeah, we both did. And then what are you doing there? Um. Yeah, we're putting in filler. Yeah, and why? Why? Like rocks. Yeah, um, why didn't we do it? Why uh, didn't you it, do it? It didn't really, you couldn't really use it for skating. Yeah, um, so it's yeah. sort of very neglected. Very neglected skate park, only used very by good. Rowan. Right, so next one. Okay, so Rowan had an idea for. Um, starting a skate park in St David's. Now, it's worth saying a little bit about St David's. St David's is, I suppose, officially Britain's smallest city. Yeah. It's a very old place <laughs> and very, I suppose, full of heritage. It's very much a sort of conservation area. And I'd say probably an area where there's been a lot of opposition. We know this because of trying to set it up. A lot of opposition to setting up a skate park. It's it's always quite hard to know the real roots of why people might be opposed to this. But some of it is to do probably with the idea of the, the perception of what skateboarders are like amongst the general public. And then I suppose in somewhere like St David's, which is sort of, I suppose a very conservative place, very, um, very much, sorry, you explain what it's like. Yeah, what else? Uh, not, not, not very interesting for children. Yeah. They don't have much kids. Pretty rubbish, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rubbish for children. So Rowan had an idea of setting up, a, and so he contacted Rhino Ramps, who make ramps which are apparently the, yeah, apparently the quietest ones. He also went to the city council to ask them, went to all their meetings. And uh, we found, he found out from this that apparently they've been trying for about 20 years or longer to set up a skate park in St David's, but with continual opposition. So, 
You made a poster. Do you want to explain? Uh, yeah. I made this poster trying to get people to go to... I, uh, oh, oh. Yeah, you collected... You made a petition first of all, didn't you? Yeah, I made a petition to try and get... Um, see how many names I could get for the skate park in St David's. And then my mum gave it into the city council and it was just in time because... Yeah. yeah, and so it was adopted by the city council and they said they'd go ahead and then... Um, put this, we put, put, I put this in like cafes and stuff to um, show people uh, what you're trying to do. Yeah, what I was trying to do and I did a cake store. Next one. Yeah, I will show you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you raised, how much do you raise? Like 140 pounds. 140 pounds, and that was actually not trying that hard. There's a lot of support for it from people. It, within the, when, as soon as you tried to raise it, there's a lot of support from people. But when we actually had a public meeting, strangely enough, there's huge opposition to the skate park, wasn't there? A lot of opposition. And a lot of that seemed to be to do with people's perceptions of skateboarders, would you say? Yeah. Yeah. And they keep on making up excuses like it's too loud and... Um, everybody yeah. knows what skateboarders are like. Yeah. <laughs> Even the fact that the only people probably would be using are people who are already living there. So <laughs> these people are... And it's giving them something to do. And then uh, what else? What else do you want to say? Yeah. Sure. Um, I think I think the other th the other thing to say the other thing that's probably worth saying is that okay St David's has been trying to set up a skate park for twenty years at least we know. Oh yeah, you could say about the t what TYF did. What did they do? You tell them. Um, I don't. I can't remember. They tried to do a walk all the way to. Do you know about this? No, tell me. They tried to do a walk all the. Way to raise money f about 20 years ago, some kids tried to raise, they raised loads of money to try and get a skate park in St. David's and they walked all the way to Half of West but they got all that money and gave it to TYF but they didn't actually make a skate park. Yeah and that was because of the opposition, the Pembrokeshire National Park, who said that it was out of keeping with the... Um, with the national park, they didn't want it within within the area, and so uh, yeah, and so the interesting thing is, is sort of through the generations, there's been re repeated attempts to try and get a skate park there, and they've been it's repeatedly been rejected for different reasons all the time. But the fact is, you're ending up with a place which is, I suppose, very unattractive for for people who want to do. Uh, skateboarding. Would you say that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. Okay. Thank you. So that's just a short. Yeah. Okay.